Hey guys, Phil from the Canadian Outdoors Enthusiast here with my partner Justin. We're uh, just finishing a video on Justin's brain tanning. Yeah, it's boiling right now, so we've got a few minutes to spare. So, we... and, and I think we both have a subject that's pretty important out there. Yeah, and we, do. Uh, we figured we'd uh, do it right now while we're it's hot in our brains or in our minds. Yeah. Well, it turns out that we found out today that Obama is trying to pass a certain bill that is that he wants to take away 223 calibers and also including 5.56 NATO. And that's just raising, it raises a few concerns for us, you know, especially as Canadians. I know it's affecting the American people right now, but it's just a question of time before it falls back onto us, and the sisterhood of the sister of America. Now, having that said, what worries me is the fact of 223. Not so much for 556. Some pe other people may disagree, and I totally get that. But for me, my worry is why take off the 223? Why remove that caliber off the market? Just because they're associating with the 556 NATO with a military round and a 223, they both go in the same rifle. Yeah, just because of the compatibility issues, it shouldn't be a reason why no. to remove the 223. If that's a big concern, then, you know, like, if that should be the issue, then they should take off all, you know, different calibers from back then, like, 100 years ago. It, 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 it's ridiculous. Like, just because we own ARs, yes, I've just ordered an AR, and a lot of Americans, a lot of, of people out there own ARs, it's a sport. It's a it's it's a freaking sport. Yeah. It's not uh, a, a rifle to go cause chaotic stuff. It's just it's 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 a, it's a sport. I don't know what to say. It's you know it's a sport. It's, it's a, in the heritage also. I mean, if you look at Canada, I mean, we've had our heritage of using our firearms to hunt and feed for our families for how long? I mean. I'm not, a, uh, I'm not really knowledgeable in that kind of history, but I know it's been more than a friggin' couple hundred years there. So, having that said, don't remove our ways to feed our people. Plain and simple. I know if it's, if it's it might be a security issue in, in other places because this specific NATO route is, you know, used for, used for this. killing people, but, you know, it's not a reason why to take away our round 223 that we use to feed our people. No, it's just because of the few bad apples out there in the States, in Canada, God, in our backyards, who knows? It's, it doesn't make any sense. No. It doesn't make any sense. And a, a two, two, three round and a five, five, six nail round, yes, they have the same dimensions. But you know what? There's many rifles out there that use the two, two, three rounds. So if you guys, if the bill goes and they remove this, this, this caliber, what happens to the hunting rifles? Yeah, does that mean that people that own like a nice Ruger Mini Tac 13, uh, Mini Tac 14, sorry, that means that they're going to be receiving a phone call or a knock, knock on the door? Not like, just the Mini Tac 14, you know, but there's like, other rifles yeah, out it's there. Winchester like, makes a 223 yeah, uh, it's like, rifle, it's Weatherby, uh, I mean, you two, name them, Seiko. 223 is great for what? For, for hunting coyote and controlling pests and, uh, and on a farm or whatnot on your territory. If you've got pest problems, well, pass the round Well, my, my, my brother-in-law, Jason, he's in, he's in our videos. Yep. He's having coyote problems right now That's in his right. backyard, and it's going after his livestock. Yep. So it's a cheap round, People and he's using the two two three. Why take it away? It doesn't make any sense. It boggles my mind yeah. how they're associating the five five six NATO as a and the two thirty three as a, a ridiculously stupid round. That okay, it's being used in in some incidents, but you know what? Like I said previously, it's a sport. Mm -hmm. The the AR-15 is not only used by military mm -hmm. and, and police. I mean, if it's, that's it's the a, case... It's a, it's a, look, at they have an Olympic sport with the yeah. ARs. Yeah, that's you know? true. It's, I agree, and if that would be the case, then if you're gonna go that far, you know, spending that much money to be able to pass a bill to remove a caliber of 223 or 556 or even both, then why not go further than that, even trying to remove like 308 or 3030, 30 odd six, all these Three rounds. 303 British. You know, like all these rounds are being used the in, in, in the force, in the field, in the military field, and so on and so forth. It doesn't make so any sense. If you're going to remove 223s and 556, might as well take them all. 
you know, it really doesn't add up. So. We all know, guys, that's not going to happen. We're part of a, a rifle association here, a gun association, just like you guys are with the NRA. And I say, fight for your rights. Fight for your rights to enjoy your sport. Fight for your rights for, for hunting. Fight for your heritage. Fight for your heritage. Uh, the States and Canada is... God, I could take uh, the border from my place and be in the States in an hour and a half, you know? Yeah. It's, it's, we're so close together and it's gonna, what affects you guys affects us as well. Yeah. So we're fighting for you guys to fight. So I don't know what to say. Now, now talking about the 223556, five, I've noticed that the rounds itself, because of this bill, have almost doubled online. People are already running out of stock. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna, are we gonna have a, a because, shortage? Because they're like the afraid. twenty-two long rifle. Yeah, they're afraid of the hype right now. People that oh, if this bill passes, no more two two three is right. So people are buying whatever they can. But I let's just think positive and hope. You know, keep people. What we got to do is keep talking to each other. Everybody's got to pass the word and you know make sure that this doesn't go through. Guys, if we're giving you information that it's not 100% accurate, especially especially our, our brothers in the States, let us know. Leave a comment below. Let us know what we said that was wrong and correct us. Yeah, because we're not here to talk, sorry to use the term bullshit, but we're not here to bullshit you. We're actually here to grab the facts and just discuss about it in a diplomatic way. And as a community all together, as brothers, if you have a video... Give us your link to your video and we'll watch it, you know, it's, we'll subscribe to your channel. It's, it's something that I, I feel strongly about that we have to stick together on this. Because whatever happens down the States comes to Canada. It doesn't matter what it is. Fuel prices, uh, rifles, ammunition, food, food. Yeah. whatever happens to you guys impacts us and vice versa. Maybe not on the same scale, but whatever impacts us will impact you as well. So we have to stick together. And yep. That's the thing. We're all one. And people like to tend to put labels on things. In different There's no labels in this conversation. Yeah, None whatsoever. Put us in compartments, but we're not compartments. We're, we're human beings. We're all one. That's the way we got to do it. And we got to act as one if we're going to be able to make this work. Yeah. So please, leave your comments below. I want to know your opinion on this, and uh, hopefully, if you have a video as well on, on and showing your opinion, I want to see it. I really do. So, stay tuned. We'll uh, continue this subject once we have more information. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.